Okay, ladies and gents, this is my magnum opus. There is a Reddit challenge where you lift. Yeah, pardon me, I'm just dead tired right now, but. So I'm gonna talk a little funny. Anyway, there's a Reddit challenge right now where you lift one orange Rockamax 64 tank to space without using any of the fuel. Then that whole vehicle you just used, you must lift it to space without using any of its fuel. So. Uh, it's basically a heavy lift competition. Uh, hard difficulty is two orange tanks. I have decided to go for a whack job difficulty. Specifically, four orange tanks. <laughs> oh god, I must be out of my mind. Anyway, um, here is the initial part of the core vehicle. This is just the part that will take those four tanks into space. Just thought I'd give you a look at my development process. Here's the four tanks. These I have separated from the rest of the vehicle by those things so the fuel won't be touched. And these extra tanks here are just there for structural reasons but they'll have fuel that'll stay in there too so it's a little bit more than four tanks and I'm sure it'll drive you nuts, but, eh, whatever. Uh, and with this open rocket design, as you can imagine, the hard part is in keeping everything from sharing up for it. That's what this is for. A lot of times in my large buildings, or large constructions in the past, you can see a couple of them on my channel there. Uh, the problem I constantly constantly ran into was something I call resident structural calving where <laughs> regardless of the number of struts you used uh, large chunks would shear off uh, and there's pretty much nothing you could do about it with struts alone however uh, through testing something else that I made I found out that the girders actually have a little bit better I mean a mixture you see what I'm talking about. A mix of girders and struts is what does the trick. The reason I believe behind this is the struts themselves don't have any give. It's if you pull them apart so much they snap. However, the girders, they have such powerfully strong contact points on the ends that they can hang on to that tank even this whole end goes up and down and flexes around. So it's a spider web type thing. It's, it's strong because it can flex. And, uh, yeah, you can see my computer's already dying with uh, running the both of these. Anyway, I'll make it quick here. <laughs> Another su funny side note, because the top here is asymmetric, and that's where my core component is. There it is. Uh, symmetry has already been broken, which means everything I put together down here was one part at a time, without the benefit of symmetry, except for the rocket engines. Uh, the clusters I'm using at the end of these is one mainsail surrounded by six of the uh, LV-230s. Or, I'm sorry, eight of those. It's, uh, yeah, I'm using clip. What the hell? Okay, when did I do that? Oh, crap, I'm missing engines. Alright, well, let me fix that while I'm here. Yeah, I'm using clipping a little bit. have to with something this big. I don't know if that'll... Come on, you old bastard. I don't know if that'll nullify my entry, or... Okay, what the hell is that not going on? Alright. One second here. Get off of there. There we go. Alright. That's the only time I use symmetry in this build. That's the only place I can, so far anyway. Oh, you bastard. Should I put up with? Alright, come on, get on there. No, I don't want two. I need eight. Thank you. Alright, there we go. You can tell I'm tired. Not that it's been a long day, it's just... My brain's on freaking overdrive and it's killing me. Anyway. Alright, last thing I want to show you. 
Uh, the problem with doing anything like this with asparagus staging, as I'm sure you can tell, is the freaking tanks are too long. I mean, that's how long they are. That's kind of long. Anyway, the fuel lines are not going to run from the bottom to the top. So, I put this together. I think it'll work. The girders themselves here, let me zoom in, do not transfer fuel. So, bottom tank to a little tiny fuel tank there on these little lollipop shaped things here all the way up until it feeds into the top of the inner tank. So even though it's mammoth, it's asparagus. Well, kind of. I'm not going to do a uh, 2 by 2 I'm just going to go out from the side columns here, so it'll be quad asparagus. So not quite totally vegetable, but vegetable enough. Uh, anyway, that's it. I'm going to cut this video before this whole damn thing crashes.